Hi, okay. Hey, storytellers of Storytelling Ron. This is actually for my players in my Christians in Space uh, series that have, we've just started up. I wonder if we should call it Chillin' in Space. No, I don't know. Uh, you guys kind of, we got to come up with a name. Also, you guys got to come up with a name for the mission, your transport. And uh, maybe for the first plant church, I guess you could, you know, we can come up with a name for that. First Intergalactic Star Church of Grace. I don't know. Um, but I want to show you guys something I've just done, figured out, yay, that you guys can do now. So here's your characters. Uh, do, do, do. I select this dude. There he is. Okay. There are you four guys right there. Good you. Good you dashing fellows, you. Check us out. All right. Boom. You now have your PDF available for you, your character sheet in the game. So you can type in your stuff there. However, I recommend that you still have a backup, you know, make sure you kind of keep it updated on your own because Foundry is a little, you know, you may lose it all. And look at Ken, man. He's got aggression. Ken's character has aggression aid, awareness aid, technology. I, I'm giving him that. Just kidding. No. So anyway, th this is the, the stuff and it will be, it will be saved. I figured out, made sure that your link actor data is saved right here. Don't touch that check mark. And you guys should be able to see, oh, I don't want you to see all this stuff. Ah, you kind of know about this. You just, I just don't want you to see in there. Um, but you, you, on your thing, you should only see this stuff right here. Don't see any of this. Just ignore that. Anyway. <clears throat> um, so there's that. There's your characters. You know, here's the platform you're on. The shuttle still has just a basic thing, which is good because I don't want to be too reliant on any sort of extra features. And here, again, you you obviously have access to this this tab at any time. So you could come in here during the game and check out your transport supplies. Here it is. And see, uh, Keith's character used one grenade, so I put minus one there. I, I might change this to just have the stock be the number and you guys can change that up and down. I think I'll change it to that. Um, but f so that you may see this a little differently. So here's your supplies. Here's your armor that you're using. And this I'll get into with you later about, uh, this is the, you know, if you get more supplies, you can have them and then you can give them to the church or keep them for yourself. And this is what you're going to need to repair things, build thing, upgrade things. Um, uh, medical, if you get injured, this is what you're going to use, um, to help you, you know, rations, fuel, if you got, uh, you're going to need fuel, uh, you know, uh, you got 12 fusion cells and your ship needs 12 to, in case you, whenever you run out of fuel. So just be aware of that. But, and that's, that will be a rare occasional thing. Um, but you can get more fuel cell fusion cells. I have no idea how that works, but we'll figure it out. Um, if you take out another ship, they will have fusion cells. You can scavenge, sca salvage, whatever. I need to make sure I have more of those available for you. So there's this, this is the, um, coolness. And here's your regular ship with all that stuff. And, um, I think that's it. That's the only, that's all I had to say right there. Kind of done. But yeah, now you have these. So you can click on them, type in your stuff. And be handy for you right then and there. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's the whole video. Just a quick little video on for the players, but I'm going to post on YouTube just for the heck of it. All right. Remember the game of life. Roll holy dice.